Welcome to another edition of Ask a Dev. My name is Justin Holmes. This week's question comes from Ian. He asks, what is Android Auto? Thanks for that question, Ian. Android Auto was announced last year at Google I.O. It lets you interface your Android device over your card's head unit using a micro USB cable. Android Auto is like Google's answer to CarPlay. Leveraging the material design card view, Android Auto presents users with visually rich, useful, and contextual information when you need it most. While Google showed off a few cool demos, Android Auto is pretty locked down so far. There are two major APIs that have been exposed to developers. The first being the ability to play music, and the second, the ability to show messages. To add auto support to your current music app, you will need to add an intent filter and metadata to your Android manifest. Once you've done that, you will need to create and register a media session that we'll use for playing your music. After you've implemented all the play controls, you should be rocking in no time. To add messaging support, your current app will once again need to make a few manifest changes and leverage the notification compat builder to send messages. To respond to user actions, you will need to leverage broadcast receivers. All of this can be found in much greater detail on Google's developer docs that have been made available online. Google has made some partnerships with big name car manufacturers. Current partners include VW, Honda, Chevy, Ford, and Subaru. With partners like that, we would hope to see Android Auto coming out in cars this year. Time will tell if additional APIs will be made available to third-party developers. I'm sure there are quite a few safety considerations, but hopefully Android Auto will find a nice balance between safety and utility for the end user. Well, that's it for this episode. Tweet your questions with the hashtag AskADev or leave them in the comments.